Welcome back to another episode of Raw Talk where we get zero Fs over here. I know y'all need to do me a solid smash that like. It's free on the way in. Smash that subscription. It's free as well. So today we're going to be talking about Fat Boy, the Blubber Ball, the Isle Blocker, the freaking Walking Walrus, 1090 Fake. We're going to be talking about him. We're going to be talking about... Some... Now, first off, let me clarify this because I have not talked... I made one video about this man like a month ago and told that boy I got 20K on the line for him to come grid. Um, I knew Adam was going to be interviewing him, so I, I popped the question to Adam in the DM. So Adam read it off to him. But before all that, I was brought up in the interview. So let's get straight into this. Let's dive right into it. We're going to pull it right off. Let's go. 1090 Jake. 1090 Jake exposes the mass gang expert from YNW Melly trial. Why I'm even being brought up in this video, I don't know. In this title, I don't know, but it seems to be the thing to bring me up. So let's get into it. Let's get into the Kaparuskis. Y'all already know what time it is. Smash that like, because we stepping on fat boys' necks over here. I'm talking about all six roles we stepping on. Bitch, we are stepping on walruses today. No animal abuse. So, you know, I got to listen to an ad or two before I get into it. YouTube ain't going to cut me no break. They're going to they gonna play ads on every corner, but I don't have YouTube premium on this phone. So, let's get right into this. So, they're talking about Melly Case. On Cash App, brings up a picture of him, his kid, and his wife. So, when you type in a phone number on Cash App, It'll bring up that person, right? That's one way you can search for people, try to find out who they are. Okay. So, which camera you want me to? Um. Go ahead and, these ones pointed at you would probably be right good. Here. Yeah. Or maybe we. Can, How about this? How about you hold it? Okay. So that way, if there's any uh, legal issues, it'll go on you and not me. But um. This, this nice bearded chap right so here. So, this is Danny Polo, the okay. gang detective investigator that undercover whatever the fuck testified in the YNW Melly case. That picture right there was brought up in court and the lawyer said, is this you? He said, yeah, is this you with your wife? Yeah. All right, so why do you need a mask on? Because he claims there's a $50,000 hit on his head. First off, how do you put a hit on somebody you don't know who they are? Mm. They put a hit on you, they know who you are. Right. You know what I mean? Second off, how are you this sloppy? Because it wasn't just the cash app, it was her Gmail account too, mm. had a picture of them. Honestly, bro, I'm I'm gonna fast forward it because I don't want to hear nothing about no no Marco Polo detective and unmasking a detective. I can care less about that shit. He just want to be a part of something. And 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 anybody really who sit back and watching this shit, no, bro, just want to be a part of some shit. So let's go. So if you're in that fear field, right here, what, what gang sign? His wife exposed him. It does this thing on his head, whatever, whatever. Which I don't his face to put it on everyone else, and then come to find out. There's a, uh, what's that shit called when people try to, like, do the signatures to make something happen? You know what I'm talking about? Signatures? Yeah, when they sign it off and some shit. What's it uh, called? Okay. Basically, he he investigated a case and got a bunch of people hit with a RICO. Okay. And a bunch of people were involved that had nothing to actually do with it. So he got mad people. A petition, I think is the word. Okay. So they have a petition against him for the bullshit that he's done as law enforcement. We're getting people indicted. That had nothing to do with shit. There's a lot of stuff in his name. I'm gonna come out with a video on him. Really? I was just more so waiting for the uh the trial to be over. For the witness aspect of it. You okay. Know? So now that that's done, I'm gonna start going on this shit because you know you personally involved me, and now you have my undivided attention. So I never heard of the G Shine Bloods. Is this just total mystery to you, or where where is he getting that information? It said a confidential source. That could have been a crackhead in Broward County. That could have been Pino. Right. I don't know. You think Pino? A crackhead in Broward County that could have been Pino. Bruh, let me explain something, bruh. What the fuck do I got to do with YNW Melly's case? Not a damn thing. I ain't never met Melly a day in my life, and I met you one time. And the first time I met you, I beat you up. I beat you senseless. I drove 2,000 miles and beat you up in front of your baby mama, in front of all your neighbors, in front of your quote-unquote Olas that were in Boston on, on Dorchester or wherever the fuck it was, Vermont and Howard. I beat you up in front of everybody, bloody, bloody. But we gonna get into that. We gonna get into that. Let's let's keep hearing this. You know, hate you that much that so you'd be still presently snitching on you. Yeah, cause somebody else that. 
Pino hates you that much that he would still be presently snitching on you. Let me explain. So I ain't never told on you, 1090J. What, what case do you have that I told on you? What, what? Why is my name even being brought up in 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 Marco Polo and YNW Melly's trial and you and Adam, the least two people who need to be talking about goddamn snitching, the last two people talking about me, bro? What the fuck? Let's go. You know, some recently got picked up and they said that they got. Oh, let's hear this. Hold on. Broward County, that could have been Pino. Right. I don't know. You think Pino hates you that much that he would be still presently snitching on you? Yeah, because somebody else that knows him recently got picked up and they said that they got asked questions that only Pino would know. So there's a lot of weird shit with him. I'd like to know who this person is. Let me hear it, bruh. Let me hear it because I am not in the streets. So let me hear. I'm not in the streets, bitch. I, I'm solo, Olo. Thugging by myself and taking care of my family. So let me hear who knows me who said that I only know information that I set them up. Boy, if you don't stop that reach, reach is a toothbrush, fat boy. Something you need to use before you got them stank ass veneers put in your mouth. With them crooked ass teeth you have for stealing your uncle's shit. Boy, stop playing with me, boy. You is not from no type of hood. You are from the upper class part of Tampa. We know. We have your aunt's address. We know what you went to jail for. You went to jail for stealing all your uncle's shit, bro. Come on, man. You need to go on a diet. You need to call Jenny Craig, bitch. You need to call Ricky Lake, bitch. You need to call somebody. You need to call Weight Watchers, motherfucker. Your ass look like a goddamn oversized gerbil, bitch. Let's get back into this. But before I keep going in on his ass, let's get back into this. But, um, Interesting, because Pino DM'd me today and said, ask Jake why he DM'd him the day that he said he was dropping an interview with Jake. So I, I DM'd him and let him know, hey, go ahead and throw this question out there. I want to hear it. Scared to rematch me, MMA. So there's a lot of weird shit with him, but um, interesting because Pino DM me today and said, Ask Jake why he is scared to rematch me, MMA style, since he wants to cap and say that we pulled guns on him. When did I say that? I don't know. Oh, shit. when did you say that? Hold on, hold on, y'all. I'm gonna leave that one at 559 right there. When did you say that? Hold on. Pino wants to cap and say we pulled guns on him. Hmm. As I backed up the square off with him again, because I'm already split, so I don't really, can't get much worse than that, you know what I'm saying? This shit got five million views. You gotta remember saying this shit. To hit his ass, he hits one of these. <clears throat> so he, he's climbing over his homie, who's already panicking, and his homie, whatever he do, he's telling his homie to do something, his homie does what he do, I back up off the whip. Mm. And that's how they put Come on, bro. Let's not act like we stupid here, bro. Let's not act like we retarded, like we remedial, like we dumb, like Milk 7-Fold. Let's not act like this, bro. You got a little bit more sense than this. You know what you said, bro. Two and two equal four, bro. You beat around the bush. You didn't directly say it, but you said basically said my homeboy up fire on you and made you get up off the car. That's what you bet. Let's hear that again. What am I again? Because I'm already split, so I don't really... Can't get much worse than that, you know what I'm saying? You already split. I rip open the cop. I'm talking about you was split like a rotten tomato. I'm talking about I hit you so hard. That shit went to... Seeing your neighbors coming out, your BM looking with your child in the hand, looking all crying like she was about to cry shit. I'm fully mounted on you, bashing your face in, bro. I get up off you and spare you. I drove 2,000 miles to you, and you talk like... <laughs> Boy... You need to hit the silent bar, boy. That shit fucking up, boy. That, that, that medium rare steak fucking up the way you think, man. That shit frying brain cells off in your big fat noggin, bitch. Door and going there to hit his ass. He hits one of these. <clears throat> so he, he's climbing over his homie who's already panicking. And his homie, whatever he do, he's telling his homie to do something. His homie does what he do. I back up off the whip. Mm. His homie do what he do. I back up off the whip. Let's get let, let's get back into this 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 uh this video that um they just dropped on no jumper. Let's see when they dropped it. They dropped on Vigo. You can watch the freshest content. They dropped this video approximately three hours ago. It said thirty seven thousand views. So y'all think I just be talking? I don't be talking. Bitches be talking on me. So I'm I'm on their net. I don't care. I don't care who don't like it. If you don't like it. Eat it up from the flow up. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I'm on that fat boy neck till he die. 
fuck you talking about? He ain't no op, he a hater, bitch. And I love, I love fucking with my haters, bro. So let's get it. Turn this volume back up. I've seen the video you guys playing. Well, because he came out here and said, what did I say that? Uh, it said, ask Jake why he is scared to rematch me MMA style since he wants to cap and say that we pulled guns on him. When did I say that? Uh, like, when did we fight MMA style? No, he says he or wants to rematch and he MMA wants it to yeah, be MMA style. Yeah, but to rematch, that means we've done it before. No, the f man, listen, bro. You know what he trying to ask you. When you trying to get in the grid, bro? I done offered you 20K. You talking about I'm broke and I'm down bad. I done offered you 20K, bro. If I'm so broke, how I got 20K to offer you? I'm down bad. Why I got it? Why I got it to offer you? But come on, bro. You are you just reaching, bro. See, I wouldn't even have said shit about you because honestly, I'm finna get up out this genre and I'm finna go ahead and go to the to the live streaming on gaming and shit on TikTok and all that shit. I was gonna go ahead and stream and, and you know just 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 have a little fun over there. But boy, you don't want the beast up, you fat lily liver fish belly fucking six pack of jelly roll face man. You fatter than jelly roll. Fuck 1090. Cake, 1090 cake, bitch. Your ass cake. Your ass, man. What on, man? <laughs> boy, I'll, man, I roast your little armadillo face ass, boy. Oh, when did we do that before? When, when did we do that before? You? Yeah, Adam, we all we all seen the fight. We all seen me pounding his motherfucking brains in in front of his baby mama and his neighbors. We all seen that. And I don't, and bro, I don't care nothing about you or your your so-called clique, your gang. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, boy. Line that shit up. Line it up. Starting with you. Because he came out here and said what, though, when you asked him if something was involved? What did he tell you? Did he say that there was a gun involved? I don't know right. what he said. Absolutely boy. not. I said I hit your ass with brass knuckles. I knocked the sense out your fat lily liver ass, boy. Stop playing. Cash, though, you asked him if there was something involved. I think you said weapons, and he gave you an answer. Right. I did. I didn't give you an answer. Okay. So I did. So we didn't do it MMA the first time. Why are we doing it now? Come on. Now you skating around the subject talking about you ain't give. Let's run this shit back. Let's go back to this. Hold on. Let's run this shit back one more time, bro. Run this shit back one more time. So he, he's climbing over his homie who's already panicking, and his homie, whatever he do, he's telling his homie to do something. His homie does what he do. I back up off the whip. Mm, come on, oh, man. You so green. And let's get into the fact that I made one fucking video with my mama. I ain't never made a video with my mama. I thought it would be cool to make a video with my mama. I made one video with my mama. Now I live with my mama. Boy, you know you capping because you know where I live. So you know you know you capping because you know where I stay. And you know it ain't with my mama. And you know you ain't finna step down around here. You know that for a fact you ain't finna come around here. I'm gonna lay you flat, boy. I'm gonna lay you, well, I can't lay you flat, bitch. I'm gonna lay you down like a hill, bitch, because your stomach, like Bobby Hill, your stomach finna be in the way. But, um, uh, you know you capping on that, bro. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. I want to see, what I want to see is this mysterious person that you say got popped and that, that Pino was the only one that knew the information. That's what I wait on. I wait on the video. I wait on it. And I, I think I'd be waiting for a long time, bro, because I think this person is Casper, bro. Invisible. Invisible as a fuck, boy. Listen, I gave you, Milk, and Frog a chance to get 20K, bro. Y'all could come get this 20K. I love to beat y'all face in for YouTube. But other than that, I'm chilling. I'm cooling, man. I'm hanging out, bro. I'm having fun. I'm watching. Man, I'm literally watching the activity go on around me. I'm literally watching Milk crash out with the seven foes. Them putting hits on his head because he ain't... I've been telling y'all Milk ain't been to the hood in 15 years. And yeah, some of y'all could say, oh, but it's okay to progress and it's okay to move to your 18th floor balcony and stay out the hood and da 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 Same thing they say about 10 and 9, 10, 1090K. But bitch, you should, don't be on YouTube wearing an orange bandana on your head talking about hood politics, but you ain't been back to your hood in 15, 20 years, bro. And another thing, 1090, you not even from the hood, bro. You from Tampa, fam. You from the nice side of Tampa. There's a hood in Tampa. You not from it. How you get brought home? How you get brought home in Tampa, but your big homies are from Orlando, bro? That should make that shit make sense to me. Oh, I can make it make sense. Cause Rambo from Orlando. And you got brought home in jail. And you don't have no day ones because you didn't grow up in that type of environment. You grew up in a nice household. We know the address. We read the police reports of you identifying two males 
who shot a BB gun into your house, bro. We know it. So it's like, you can't hide where you lived, where you grew up. You robbed your uncle, bro. You ain't do no gangster shit. You ain't breaking nobody high, lay no shit down. You ain't steal no cars, put them on a high speed chase. You ain't do none of that quote unquote what the streets call with gangster shit, bitch. You robbed your family, your La Familia, bro. You robbed the people that took care of you since you was a shorty because I know you're fat bratty ass shit them diapers all the time. You little fat ass bitch. That's another episode of Raw Talk. Don't get me crack up. I'm going all week on this shit, man. I don't even care. Next video, we going in on milk.